hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in ASP.NET how to create a cascading drop down list using link to SQL class and here we got the final output now I'm selecting the country India so here we got the select state in India we got the states of Telangana, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu now let's select the Telangana the state of Telangana is Hyderabad. Suppose if I try USA, the select state is California, Texas, and New Jersey. If I select Texas, Austin is a city name. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I have created a new web form one page. Notice in this web form 1 source page contains a simple HTML code with some header tags h1, h2 and horizontal line. And after the horizontal line, I am adding three drop down list controls, one for the country and second drop down list is for state and the third one for the city. Let's add the drop down list controls, open toolbox, in the standard folder there is a drop down list control, add that one. And I'm changing the ID of the drop down list DDL country. Let's copy this one, paste here, and paste here. And the second drop down list ID I'm changing to drop down DDL state. And the third one is the DDL city. After adding these three drop down list controls, now before writing the coding part in link to SQL class, let's first visit our SQL Server Management Studio. We'll check the table and the column names. The table names are the country which contains two columns, CID and CNAME. The CID column is the auto generated column and the CNAME is the country names one for India and the second one for the USA and the third one is Australia and the second table is state table dvo.state which contains three columns SID which is the state ID S name is a state name and CID is a city ID and this city ID I have a relation with this country table when a user selects the India the country ID is one which contains four states for the India Telangana, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu and the last table when a user select any particular state I want to display the city and this is a city table which contains three columns city ID, city name and SID and notice the last column in the city table which is SID which is related to this state table SID so let's write the coding part, switch back to the Visual Studio. Now in the coding part, the first I'm adding the, the database name in Server Explorer under Data Connections, right click that one, Add Connection. I'm adding SQL Server name is SQL Express. After adding SQL server name, now I am selecting the database name Sample DB Test connection is succeeded, ok, ok And here the sample db.dbo is added under data connections Now the next step, let's add the link to SQL class in the project name Right click the project name, add link to SQL class and I am changing the item name cascading class click OK and here we got the .dbml link to SQL class uh, let's open server explorer expand the sample db.dbo and in the sample db.dbo, I am expanding the table subject. 
the tables I'm selecting the country table which is this one country and the next two tables are state and city state table and the final one is a city table just drag and drop here after adding these three tables switch back to the source mode and click the mouse go to view code now in this view code first I'm binding the country table in the drop down list country cascading class is the data context class of this one cascading I'm creating an object cc is equals to new cascading class data context after that variable country list is equals to from country in cc dot the table object countries select country dot to list method after that let's bind the country table in the drop down list control drop down list dd sorry dd country is a drop down list id dot data text field is equal to the data text field for the country which is a c name semicolon ddl dot country dot data value field is equals to CID. Let's copy this one and paste here ddl country dot data source is equals to country list this object name ddl country dot data bind after that let's add the default label for the country drop down list ddl country dot items dot insert zero and the second parameter is a list items so new list item select country comma zero that's it we have binded the c name from the country table in the ddl country drop down list control now before adding the state and city tables let's check the output the country table is binded or not in this ddl country drop down list google chrome And here we got the output. Notice the table country is binded into this DDL country drop down list control. Now, my aim is when a user select any particular country, for example, if I select India, I want to display in the second drop down list control the states of the India only in this drop down list control. And if a user select any particular state, I want to display the capital of that state in the third city drop down list control. So let's write the coding part in link to SQL. Stop debugging. Now switch back to the webform1.aspx page. What I'm doing in the drop down list control, I'm adding the auto post back is equals to true. So this is very important property. So after that, switch to the design mode. Now double click the drop down list control. 
and here we got the selector index changer event for the DDL country uh, what I'm doing I am deleting this data context class I'm adding about the page load so I can access this object anywhere in this page variable state list is equals to from state in cc dot the table name is a states where where state dot I'm adding the column name CID because the CID column name is a common from the country and the state table double equals to we are selecting the values from the DDL country dot selected value the selected value is a int type so we need to typecast so we need to convert this convert dot to int 32 select state dot to list method after that ddl state dot data text field is equals to the text field is from the state table is a s name i want to display the state names s name semicolon ddl state dot data value field is equals to i am adding the sid let's add the data source for this ddl state data source we are getting the results from this state list so i am adding that one after that ddl state ddl state dot data bind method and the last one i'm adding the default label for the ddl state drop down list state ddl state dot items dot insert method insert zero new list item select state comma zero semicolon that's it we have binded the state names when a user select any particular country in the drop down country so in the last one switch back again to the web form source page or design page and this time select the ddl state drop down list country states double click that one it will generate the selector index change it for the ddl state so instead of writing again this part let's copy this one and paste here this one the alias name i'm adding city and cc object dot the table name is a cities where city dot in the city and state the column name common is just SID state ID I'm adding that one and convert to this one is DDL state dot selected value select city and data text field for the city table is a city name add that one and data value field is a city id so let's change the variable city list copy this one and paste here change the ddl state to ddl city copy this one is here i 
and the label name select city that's it we have done the complete coding part now in the page load event it's very important if not page dot is post back that's it now it's time to check the results on the browser now I'm reloading the browser link and here we got the final output now I'm selecting the country India so here we got the select state in India we got the states of Telangana, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu now let's select the Telangana the state of Telangana is Hyderabad suppose if I try USA the select state is California, Texas and New Jersey if I select Texas Austin is a city name that's it we have implemented cascading drop down list using link to SQL class